Have you ever pondered the mystery of time? Can our future truly affect our past? This is our starting point today, as we venture into the enigma of time and causality. You see, in our everyday life, time is a one-way street, flowing from the past, through the present, and into the future. Cause and effect govern our world, where the cause always precedes the effect. But what if I told you that in the quantum realm, things aren't quite so straightforward? In the microscopic world of particles, time and causality take on a more elusive nature. What you might consider a cause could also be an effect, and the future can, in some sense, influence the past. This is not a realm governed by the conventional laws of physics as we know them. So buckle up and prepare to dive deep into the quantum realm where the future influences the past. Consider a simple experiment, the double-slit experiment, a beacon of quantum mechanics. This experiment, as straightforward as it sounds, has been the cornerstone of quantum physics for nearly a century. It's all about shooting particles, like photons or electrons, at a barrier with two slits and observing the pattern that emerges on the other side. Here's the catch. If we shoot these particles one by one, you'd expect them to form two bands on the screen behind, right? Each corresponding to one of the slits, but that's not what happens. Instead, we see an interference pattern, a series of light and dark bands, as if the particles are behaving like waves. This is what we call the wave-particle duality of photons. But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets even weirder. If we keep track of which slit each particle goes through, the interference pattern disappears, replaced by the two bands we initially expected. The mere act of observing seems to force the particle to choose one path over the other, collapsing the wave function. What does this mean? In a nutshell, it's as if the particle is in two places at once, passing through both slits simultaneously until we observe it. Once we do, it seemingly decides to have gone through one slit or the other. It's as if the act of observation in the present affects how the particle behaved in the past. This is not just a thought experiment. It's been performed countless times with the same mind-boggling results. It's as if the particles are saying, if you watch me, I'll behave like a particle. If you don't, I'll behave like a wave. The results of this experiment challenge our classic understanding of causality, leading us to the concept of retro-causality. What if the future can influence the past? As we delve deeper into the quantum world, we'll find that time and causality may not be as straightforward as we once thought. Retro-causality, a fascinating concept where the future influences the past. Now let's delve deeper into this intriguing idea. Retro-causality, in its simplest form, is a concept in physics that proposes an event can be influenced by its future, a reverse of the typical cause-and-effect sequence we're so accustomed to. If this is a bit challenging to grasp, don't worry, you're not alone. To help us understand, let's consider a game of billiards. Normally, the cue ball strikes an object ball, causing it to move, a classic example of cause and effect. But in the world of retro-causality, it's as if the object ball moves first, somehow knowing it's about to be struck by the cue ball. This isn't some sort of magic trick or an episode of a science fiction series. It's a real concept within the realm of quantum mechanics, a world where particles can exist in multiple places at once, and where time, as we understand it, doesn't quite apply. In this quantum realm, particles can behave in strange ways, and it's here where retro-causality comes into play. Imagine a particle of light, a photon, that can take one of two paths. Now, if we decide in the future which path to measure, it's as if the photon knew which path it should take before we made the decision. This, in essence, is retro-causality. The photon's future influencing its past. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of time and causality. And it's a key idea in quantum mechanics, a field that itself is full of paradoxes and mysteries. To understand it fully, we need to dive deeper into the quantum world, to explore experiments that have been designed to test these strange phenomena. One such experiment, known as the Delayed Choice Quantum Eraser Experiment, directly involves this mind-bending concept of retro-causality. Retro-causality is a key player in the Delayed Choice Quantum Eraser Experiment. 
So buckle up as we delve deeper into the quantum realm in our next segment, where we'll explore this experiment and the enigma of retro-causality further. The delayed choice quantum eraser experiment takes the double slit experiment to a whole new level. Picture this, you're at the quantum scale where particles can behave like waves when they're not being observed and like particles when they are. Now, imagine a variation of the double slit experiment where we don't just observe which slit the photon goes through, but we delay our choice to observe or not until after the photon has passed the slits. This is the crux of the delayed choice quantum eraser experiment. So we fire a photon at a beam splitter that sends it randomly through one of two paths. Along each path, we place a quantum eraser that can wipe out which path information, meaning we would not know which path the photon took. We then set up a detector screen at the end. Now here's the intriguing part. If we choose to keep the which path information, we see particles behaving like particles creating two distinct bands on the detector screen, corresponding to the two slits. But if we erase the which path information, the photons act as if they're waves, creating an interference pattern on the screen, just like in the original double slit experiment. What's fascinating is, this choice to observe or not, is made after the photon has passed the slits, but before it hits the detector screen. It's as if our decision in the present affects the photon's past behavior, but it gets even more mind-bending. In a further twist, we can use a pair of entangled photons, one going to the detector and the other to the eraser. Even if we delay our choice to erase or keep the information until after the first photon has hit the detector, the outcome remains the same. This experiment hints at a deep connection between particles known as quantum entanglement. It's like the universe is saying, I don't care when you decide, your choice will still affect the result. This is the fascinating world of quantum physics, where time, causality, and our understanding of reality get beautifully tangled. Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon so bizarre, even Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. Now, let's dive into this captivating enigma that has been defying the norms of science and reality. Imagine you have a pair of gloves, one left-handed and the other right-handed. You put each glove in a box and send them to opposite ends of the universe. When you open one box and find a left-handed glove, you instantly know that the other is right-handed, no matter how far away it is. This is a crude analogy for quantum entanglement. In the quantum world, things get much stranger. Particles can become entangled, meaning their states are directly connected, regardless of the distance between them. If we measure one particle and force it into a state, the other particle assumes a corresponding state instantly. This happens faster than the speed of light, defying Einstein's theory of relativity, which states nothing can travel faster than light. Now, you might wonder, how do particles become entangled? Well, they can become entangled through various processes, such as when they are created at the same time or when they interact with each other. Once entangled, these particles remain so until they are disturbed by an outside force. This mind-bending concept has profound implications not just for physics, but for our understanding of reality itself. It suggests that at a deep and fundamental level, the universe is interconnected in ways we're just beginning to comprehend. And here's where it ties back to our topic. Entangled particles could theoretically be used to send information back in time. If we manipulate one particle in the present, its entangled partner would reflect that change in the past. Quantum entanglement, retro-causality, and the double-slit experiment all contribute to our understanding of how the future can affect the past. These concepts continue to challenge and expand our understanding of the universe, opening doors to realms of science that were previously unimaginable. We've journeyed through the quantum world where time and causality take on new meanings. We've seen how the double-slit experiment challenges our conventional understanding of particle behavior. We've delved into the concept of retro-causality, where the future can potentially affect the past. And we've explored the delayed choice quantum eraser experiment that further blurs the lines of causality. Finally, we've grappled with the enigma of quantum entanglement, demonstrating the immediate connection between particles, regardless of distance. 
These quantum phenomena aren't just mind-boggling puzzles, they are fundamental to our understanding of the universe. They reveal a reality far removed from our everyday experiences, a reality that's still shrouded in mystery. Yet, it's in this quantum world where the future could be influencing the past. If you enjoyed this journey, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Together, we'll continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe.